friends, it's Kathy here today, and I'm pretty excited. It's more barbecue, and I'm super pumped. So we have Gwen and Chris from Rogers Boys Barbecue. So hello. Hi. How are you guys today? Good. 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 Sorry. I know it's like COVID. <laughs> We're outside, y'all. Yeah. Um. So tell me a little bit about you guys. How did you get into barbecue? Uh. Well, I actually used to own a moving company. Moving company? Yeah. And then, uh, when, you know, I got a few crews going. I would uh, cook for the fellas on the weekends. <laughs> so my house was pretty much like the party house on the weekends. Time to eat, coming through. And then, yeah, when it's time to eat, everybody would be like, man, this food is so good, man. And so I'd be like, ah, man. And it just yeah. pumped up from there, man. And, uh, and so uh, once we started... Uh, they wanted us to do like they, their parties, birthday parties, parties and catering, and catering, catering and stuff catering. like that. And Invite so, them over for dinner. Yeah. And it was just like fun with the family and eat good food. And it went from that to doing it on the weekends. Yeah. We did it part time on the weekends. She used to do hair. And so uh, I would go to uh, bring her lunch and people would go. She would yeah, in a beauty shop and Where'd you get go that? crazy. Where'd you yeah. get that? Where'd you get that? So. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we uh kind of kind of started from that yeah. part time on the weekends, and then it just it just started booming on the weekend. I was like, well, we might have to reconsider. Yeah, and uh, so I was moving versus <laughs> making delicious food. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and and I love pleasing people and just the expressions on people's face when they taste the barbecue or just food. Period. Yeah, and they'd be like, oh my god, it's so good, and so. Uh, that's pretty much how we started, and then you know, like I say, we did it part time on the weekend, and then we just invested and, and just went full time. We actually went and and we would visit the food trucks. Different food like we trucks. would watch. We love food already. Like we love to cook already. So we would like watch TV, like the Food Network, and like go to those places, like San Antonio, like wherever. We'd be like, hey, this place is this place. Let's wow. go visit. Yeah. So we would go visit whether it was a trailer or a restaurant and then just be like, we could do this, like we, we could do this. Like our food is good. Yeah. So it went from that to trying to like do like the sales, you know, like, well, let's do, let's figure out a menu. So we figured out a menu yeah. and we, um, we started doing the sales and it was, it, it did well. So we went from catering to parties and birthdays and all that to by you know, inviting people over to, actually had a trailer on breaker in 35 wow and we were like doing great wow yeah how'd you get here so well, we had moved to south texas for about four years i had took my trailer to south texas and then i opened up a spot in seguin and uh so once the pandemic hit things just kind of yeah we were in seguin up and time. down and we was in seguin at that time and but they loved us they didn't i yeah, mean like yeah. we boomed we yeah. stayed open yeah. the whole time and we didn't i mean yeah. it was it was yeah. lovely. Yeah, yeah, it was. The community so is great. I would come to Austin on the weekend sometimes, every other weekend, and just the demand for it. People were going crazy, crazy. And I used to set up off like one of my trailers yeah. and go to the, like, the park. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, I got to be a little careful with the COVID going on. So I came to this spot, and this guy rented it out to me, just trying to keep the overhead low because we opened up in the middle of COVID. Yeah, and, here. Uh, People uh, were so happy. Year, yeah, they were. They were so happy that we were here again, and and we did really well. And Go so ahead. we've been here over right at this spot over a, a little over a year now. One meter. Yeah, yep. and then we I just opened a trailer Super. downtown on uh, Seventh and Red River. We just uh, got a spot down on Seventh and Red River. Yeah. Between six and seven, it's a it's a food River. court there, and there's some other trailers, but we're like right there in the middle. It is a good spot. Yeah. yeah. So that's our that's our up and coming, but. Yeah. So we went to cooking, like from, from cooking barbecue, we started making like exotic dishes. Like let's let's do something that's, what, that you can can't. We, what can't we do with? Like brisket? what can we do that you can't <laughs> find in other barbecue joints? So we we do like brisket tamales, uh, brisket enchiladas. Mm -hmm. We do uh, brisk the brisket nachos, the brisket baked potato, brisket fried, almost everything brisket. Brisket and mac we, and cheese bowls. Yeah, brisket mac and cheese. And then bowls. you bring in your other meat. So then, if you're not a brisket either, brisket eater, you can get ribs, rib, uh, sausage, green turkey. Yeah. yeah. Oh. The sky is the limit. Juicy we had a fall guy off the bone, turkey legs. Last week, he's he he doesn't really eat meat, so he asked for a um, potato yeah. and mac and cheese nacho. 
And I, 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 I tried it. I tried it today. It was so good. It was so freaking good. I believe it. Yes. Yeah. And you don't miss the meat. Yeah. And I think we're gonna add that to it. Yeah. No meat. No meat nacho. No meat nacho. <laughs> Meatless yeah. Monday. Have it your way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That's awesome. So, yeah. That's and we like it. It's fun for us to cook and then like get the feedback like it's good and you know. And and we kind of picked this community to be in because I'm from Austin, born and raised. Yeah. And I kind of grew up around in this area here. So, you know, I watch Austin grow drastically, man. And so it's a mixture crowd. And, you know, everybody, we get, you know, a little bit of everybody yeah. come show love to us. Man. They love us. We love it. Like, don't go nowhere. <laughs> yeah, they do. So, <laughs> don't go nowhere. Okay, so you're here, you're stuck. And on 6th. And, and on we're on 6th. Yeah. Between 6th yeah. and 7th on Red River. On Red River. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And it's still Rogers Boys down there too. It's yes, still Rogers right. Boys. Okay. Okay. Are there more boys? There is. Yeah, it's it's uh. He's it's got four boys, yeah. and he's got a brother, and they make up the Rogers Boys. I'm the girl. Rogers girls. <laughs> I'm one of the girls. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, well, is there is there anything else you'd like to share with the internet? Uh, well, um, no. Is there any questions you have for us? How else can we help support you? We can help get out the word and tell all our friends. Spread the word. Okay. Come ask to try taste try the first. food. I yeah. mean, try we guarantee. So, like, oh, yeah. if you come and you're like, I've never had the nacho. Can I try it? Sure. Wow. You can try it. You don't have to buy it. But you can yeah. try it before yeah. you buy it. Yeah. Then you're going to buy it. We guarantee you love it. Some Speaking of the best up. food and, you yeah, ever Yeah, let's had. let you taste that nacho. Oh, oh man. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to eat this on camera live. Brisket nachos. The first to ever do it. The original. The original. This is it. I don't even know where to start. Oh, oh. goodness. No canned cheese. Homemade cheese. Homemade cheese. Homemade barbecue sauce. We make our own season. That is amazing. I would not put that on nachos. <laughs> would so everybody sad. say that? <laughs> but it's so good that you. I was like, what made you think of yeah. barbecue sauce and cheese? <laughs> <laughs> like, how could you like. not have thought about it? I know, <laughs> yeah. I know. Yep. I'm glad you gave me napkins. Yeah, you're going to need the napkins. It's, it's, kind of mm. but it's so good. Mm. It's so good. It's one of those I don't care about. Yeah, that's that's the most popular item. That yeah. the turkey leg, the mac and cheese becoming real popular. Yeah, I could see me eating this and some mac and cheese. Oh man, and potato. Oh potato my god. Mmm. Mmm. And it's you have it your way. I mean, oh yeah, you, um, can, put you can put whatever you want. Two on meats, there. brisket and sausage, yeah. brisket and chicken. We, we debone the rib and put it, chop it mm. and put it on there as well. So everything's. Biteable. You know how people oh, yeah. don't like those my big pieces of meat. <laughs> my husband will be here. And yeah. that's how it Gotta. goes. Like we 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 lure one in, and then they're like, I then gotta. You have to have somebody to taste it. So you're like, let me. I'm gonna bring somebody. Oh, Somebody's yeah. gotta know what yeah. I tasted. So I love it. This is very good. Thank you. I am going to take. I'm gonna sit in my car and eat a couple more, uh -huh. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take them home and let my husband try them. Okay. But yeah, yeah. and you know where we are. I do. Yeah. And we're going to let everybody know. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. It was such a pleasure to meet you. Me too. Thank All you. right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, boys. Got to go here. <laughs> I've got to eat Let's this nachos. Let me just...